Hey Geeks, Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to open and use a CAB file in Windows. A CAB file is a cabinet file, and what you really need to know, all you need to know, is it's the same as a zip file or a RAR file. It is a compressed file format, so you just need to know how to open it up or install. So we'll show you a couple of options here. For example, if you know that the file you have should be an installer, you will be able to right click it and you will see install which obviously you do not see so that's not an option here so this is actually a real tech driver which means we're going to need to extract it somewhere where you can update your driver so there's two ways to do it a free compression app right here check the video description for this link download a free compression app we would suggest 7-zip or p-zip bandy zips also popular we actually use winrar because we're old and um, we're used to it and we don't like change so get off my lawn dude let's do this take file explorer another way to do it if you don't want to download something that's going to be slow especially if it's a big file 150 megs a lot of files in there sometimes you'll get lucky you'll see extract but you notice it's grayed out because for some reason beyond me uh, microsoft apparently doesn't want you to play with them but here's what we can do click control a now you've highlighted everything highlight click on anything right click and you'll see extract you can also click on copy and then you can paste it somewhere else so for example extract choose a folder and just click extract and it will empty everything out again anything over 10 20 megs it literally will be fast if you go get a compression app install it and do it that way let me show you I'm gonna drag this is a virtual machine here I'm gonna drag my file explorer over from my main computer and here it is so because I have WinRAR you can see it has its own icon because it knows it's a WinRAR file so I just click on it and there it is just to give you a rough idea now watch this so we're going to extract all of these and as you can see it by default already creates a folder with the name of the file you click OK there's 20 25 30 so while we're doing that it'll be done by the time we come back let's extract these to our download folder now let's see if we're done over here we're done just to give you an idea so what was that five seconds ten seconds pretty fast this will come back to in a minute so once you have it extracted I'll give you a great example if you're doing a, a uh, driver update real quick let's go to drivers and see if we can do something here so you need to get at the files in the archive right let's go to drivers device manager so let's say we're going to update our display driver we can double click that go to the driver click on update driver because again as we've said this is not an installer these are just files so browse my computer you click browse and we know that it was in downloads for example and you can click OK click next and we'll find a driver because it's not the right driver but there you go so that would be how you would update your driver if you were trying to extract the files now you see that two hours and 30 minutes so you know sometimes I might get bad advice I don't know maybe I do and then nobody always agrees but I can tell you right now you can download 7-zip or one of those programs and extract this in 10 seconds and believe me even if you've never done it before you can do it in under two hours and 30 minutes you know what I mean another thing we have in this guide that is not covered here is how to use the command prompt pretty simple open your command prompt Windows key plus X maybe PowerShell as admin or open the command prompt itself you know where it is uh, you can actually do win s cmd and run as administrator another way to do it type in this line and then you need to put in the path so I actually use the path I'm using here which is on my desktop so easy enough to just type this in and then right here put in the exact path to it so it's kind of the hard way to do it but it's probably gonna be a lot faster than some of the other stuff that we've looked at thus far so let me show you real quick if you're still with me I link to popularity on this link right here and that's so when you get here you'll jump right to 7-zip etc so I think I'm not sure it's got yeah 64-bit 32-bit 5-star app You'll get the same thing with pzip, but pzip has a portable version, so if you don't think you're going to need it, there's pzip32 and 64-bit. 
portable, right? Yep. So you can go ahead and grab that. That way, when you're done with a portable file, you can just delete it when you're done if it's a one-time use type of thing. So there you have it. There's a few different ways. One of those will get your cab file opened up. Hopefully we helped. Click subscribe down here with a little Major Geeks icon. See him down here staring at you, begging you. That's pretty sad, dude. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. See ya.